What's good, people? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Country Dad Kicks back with another episode of Facts About Kicks. In this one, as requested by a lot of you, showcasing a legendary shoe. Some funny facts about this shoe, so let's get right into it. Today, on Facts About Kicks, the Air Max 95. A total classic, right? Everyone knows about this shoe. A lot of people. In the UK, this is a very, very popular shoe. Uh, and it, it's very popular around most of the world, to be honest. You know, it can be seen on lots of, lots of famous people, lots of athletes, and so on and so forth. So, first things first. It was released originally in 1995 by the designer Sergio Lozano. Lozano, that's the name. Lozano, right? Uh, he took over for Tinker Hatfield um, when Tinker Hatfield left, left the Air Max line in 1994. Um, and the shoe is one of the first to feature the front air bubbles. Obviously with the big air bubble at the back. But yeah, the front air to make more cushioning um, for runners and so on and so forth. Today, I thought I'd use a few of my favourite pairs. So I've got this pair here, which is uh, released for Halloween, which was the Freddy Krueger just give you a little showcase of these because these are awesome, man. But I'm a big horror movie fan. Uh, I I'm a really, really big horror movie fan. And um, yeah, I saw these and I was just like instant cop. And then I've got these as well, which I love. Whoa, the Air Max 95 Silver Bullet that was released in the Silver Bullet pack alongside the TNs and alongside the 97s. So, with that being said, <clears throat> the fact about this shoe. So, yeah, it was, it's been released 11 times now. It's been released 11 times since the OG, the OG colorway, the neon colorway has been released 11 times. The, uh, I don't own that colorway yet, I need to get that colorway. If any of you can hook it up in a UK 7.5, hit the DMs, man. For a decent price, I ain't paying the stupid resale price. But, um, yeah, a funny fact about this one, this is the most, in the UK, this is, the, this is, this is statistics, right? This is the most used shoe by criminals in the UK. And when I read that fact, I thought, oh my God, that's quite funny. And yeah, when I've, um, <laughs> a lot of criminals seem to like these shoe, um, which is quite funny. Uh, it's uh, featured in uh, lots of Japanese anime and manga. It's, it was really popular over in the, uh, Japan when it first kind of came out. And yeah, Nike were taken um, kind of away by it because they weren't really ready for it. And it blew up and it went mad. And it's featured in lots of like manga and anime cartoons, if you know what that is. It's a uh, Japanese style of uh, comics. Um, another uh, fact about this shoe is um, <laughs> in the UK, they call it uh, one tens because the shoe went from £95 uh, or, or £99 originally when it was released up to one ten. So everyone called them 110s. No one really called them Air Max 95s. So it was just 110s because you paid 110 for them. Uh, and you ask any shoe collector, I guess any criminal in the UK, they will tell you. They put the price up now. The price has gone up. They're like, uh, I think these were like 130 or something like that now. But um, yeah, the price has definitely has gone up. But it used to be 110 for years and years and years. And that's why in the UK, if you're from the UK, you know they are called 110s. Um, another fact about this shoe, it was really, really big in hip hop. Like the game references it in, uh, hate, hate it or love it. Yeah. But with, uh, 50 cent, that's the artist. He, yeah. He says it, try, I'll kill you if you try me for my Air Max 95s. He, he knows this is, I've watched the, I can't remember the show it was, but big up the show, um, the game in there and he talks about his love for the Air Max 95. Eminem has been seen wearing them. Um, Little Kim, lots of other, like, you know, it can be seen in lots of basketball players and just lots of athletes and celebrities. The Air Max 95 is, is one of the top um, Air Max, you know, like like TNs, the Air Max 1s, Air Max 95s, Air Max 90s. You know, the Air Max line is a massive range, but there's obviously popular ones and there's ones that aren't so popular. And these are right at the top. Um, another fact about this shoe, it was based on human anatomy, if you didn't know that. Um, the designer, Sergio Lozano, he based it on the human anatomy. Um, the back here is meant to represent a spine that holds the shoe together. So the body, you get me, the spine like it holds your back together. Uh, it's on the bottom there as well, the spine. And then here, 
like cage like lung tendons and different parts of the body which is quite a cool fact because i didn't know that until i've been researching so uh, sorry, you're just gonna have to remind me. I just got out of the shower, I just woke up, just got out of the shower, jumped in, ready to do this for you. So, yeah. And I've got, like I said, big up everyone that has been writing in the, uh, like when I post a story about what shoes you would like to be researched, big up everyone that really is getting involved in it. Appreciate you, and I love reading through all your suggestions, all of the comments you all make. It's really cool, and, and I really appreciate it. And not just the love that I've been showing with starting this series. Um, and yeah, so there we have it. Air Max 95, facts about kicks. Um, if you have any more facts about it, let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, watch out for the next facts about kicks. I'm gonna leave something in the story a bit later on. So if you have any suggestions and you're watching this video, make sure you leave it, because I do really take notice of it and it helps and like, just even just your thoughts. If you haven't got a shoe you want research, just talk your thoughts. Let me know what you think. What you think want you want improved on the channel? Uh, any content that you think I can make better? Anything like that? It's really appreciated. Like all of the feedback, negative and positive. I'm, I, I like that con constructive criticism. I like that. So appreciate you all. I hope you have a good week. Let's get it.